Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Don Donkey Kong Country video that Universal Japan released yesterday. At least the first look of the full 40 second video on the channel. Yeah, last night, and I'll link that. I'll put that video in here. But we're going to kind of break down the what that video is telling us and some of the other tidbits we, that got we got that got released from that press release yesterday. So let's go ahead and dive in dive right in so let's first kind of break down the video um the video of course starts off with well, just a teaser video but it starts off in the mushroom kingdom the current super nintendo world then you go through a portal into donkey kong country which is the official name of the land which is fantastic that's the, the rumor spike their name and it's good to see it official but in Don donkey kong country you see lots of things they like seem confirm the meet and greet area the donkey kong, the kong tree house we will meet donkey kong and diddy kong i'm sure plenty of other kongs and then they have the interactive drums that it will be an interactive feature kind of like a mini game and they have some cool well, that you can use your cool new power bands on and they have different interactive features throughout the land but they also confirmed some code some details about the roller coaster donkey kong Donkey Kong Minecart Madness. Another news release, they said this new uh, this roller coaster will be a unique, innovative experience, which means, uh, aka the Boom Coaster. We all know what that's gonna be. We see it under construction, Epic Universe, where there's the real track and fake track above and below each other, so it looks like you're jumping over obstacles. This looks like an almost identical mirror version to the Epic Universe version, except the waterfall feature will be more prevalent on Epic Universe, and this will be a mist coming out of the uh temple the donkey uh, the kong's mouth on the temple there due to space restrictions now you'll there'll be a couple anim animatronics on the ride according to alicia stella in scene two we'll get to meet dixie kong you'll run into dixie kong but as stated in the press release itself and some official concept art you'll get you'll run into the like Tai Kong, Tiki Tai Kong, I think that's what the name was. And he's the antagonist, he's the main villain of the attraction. You'll run into him, at, I assume, and as part of one of the grand finales of the attraction, and you can see him in the concept art here. He is twisting the track around and trying to, well, get you. And of course, this ride will have interactive uh, features such as um, the, or oh, interactive obstacles such as the spikes and going over water, and track switching and drops inside the temple. And this should be an overall really fun adventure. And it looks like the cart will hold up to four people. And I, I cannot wait to see this in person. And I can't wait to see a POV of it. I'll for sure be breaking a POV, POV of that coaster down. We recently saw a video of this coaster testing, which I'll link here in this video. Someone posted this to Twitter, which and it looks super cool. You have to look look really closely just above the tree line. You can see a little, little cart go over one of those. Humps. Other new stuff is coming to the land for this awesome expansion. You won't have to wait too long, or at least if you're in Japan, you won't have to wait too long for that stuff as that could be available as soon as today, like right now, or especially in Japan, it's um, a day ahead, December 6th. I'm recording this on December 5th. But right now, you can get these cool Donkey Kong snack and Diddy Kong snacks and new power bands. And first, let's look over some of the merchandise. The very popular headband um, is back with. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong coming out of being launched out of barrels, which is super cool. Again, you can recognize these hand uh, headbands. The very popular, the ghosty ones are currently very popular, and Yoshi are very popular here at Super Nintendo World in Hollywood. Now, in Japan, you'll be able to get some Donkey Kong ones. I don't think you'll be able to get some in Hollywood eventually. I know they do kind of sell other parks merch, but this is probably exclusive to Japan and uh, Donkey Kong so far is not scheduled to come to Hollywood, unfortunately. So I don't think we'll get any of that merch, which sucks. But there'll be also some um, like toys, like this maybe barrel of Don. It feels like maybe this could be a barrel of monkeys type of toy with this Donkey Kong here. And definitely some nice snacks, some snacks and cookies and crackers. Um, because I guess that's what the Kongs eat over there in Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, last but not least, as I mentioned earlier, there are a couple of new um, power bands. You can get one for Donkey Kong and one for Diddy Kong. I personally like Donkey Kong's a little bit better. It's a little bit darker brown and has a, but that cool green and the banana. I like that. But Diddy Kong has a nice little star. And I'm sure that will be just as popular as well. In fact, I already have my own Mario power band. But man, if I had a chance to get a Donkey Kong power band, especially with that cool looking brown color, I definitely jump on that. But that is all the information we have 
about this. Oh, by the way, this is opening spring 2024. Um, my guess, I've heard around March is at least the soft open for that March time frame. Again, they're already testing in December. So I think around March it should be good to go. So if you plan to go to Universal Studios Japan for spring break or summer, you'll definitely be good to go if you head in April or so, which would be super awesome. I'm so jealous if you are. But yeah, expect it to open in spring 2024 per the press release. And you'll have three. The Super Nintendo will be complete. You'll have an additional mini games. Mario Kart, uh, Bowser's Challenge, JLC's Adventure, and Donkey Kong Minecart Madness. What do you guys think of this new announcement? The brand new details. I'm sure we'll get some more news, of course, in the official opening date and some more of the interactive features like the interactive drums and maybe some mini games in the coming months. But it's nice to see this nice teaser um, for the land that was officially announced in 2021. And of course, uh, we haven't heard anything about it since until then, until now. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you like this uh, video, press that thumbs up button. And hey, if you want a free theme park wizard pin, go ahead and answer this question. What is your favorite piece of merchandise on that uh, of the new Donkey Kong merchandise and why? And what power band would you get, Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong? Let me know in the comments below for a free theme park wizard pin. And... Check out the Patreon for more exclusive updates, and as always, have a Donkey Kong Super Day! <laughs> Do you guys want discount tickets to theme parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today, we have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single-day tickets as well. You just click on the code. Click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh, use the code TPW. That's just capital T P N W. That's it. Disney Universal, all of them. And they, if you add multiple days, the bigger the discount. Again, use that referral link down below. Uh, you'll get lots of discounts, including single day vacation packages, even on hotels. And use that code TPW. And thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you. Get some more discounts. All right, let's get right back to the video.